This is part two where we're cutting out these six pumpkins off of this piece of Osage orange. You can see we have a nice cylinder here ready to go. I uh, will not be running dust collections today due to the quality of the video, but most of this is gonna be a time lapse anyway, and then we'll, towards the end of the video, look at finishing the six pumpkins. So I have my bits here, a quarter inch Jenny compression bit and a 16th inch Jenny. First thing we're gonna need to do is get the bit installed and zeroed to the machine. Now for my XY position, I'm gonna make sure that I walk this bit over to the actual starting point. So that way I'm not hitting the quick change jig. And this is because the jig is in addition to this workpiece. So we're just gonna walk it over to the right and reset our X. All right, so we're ready to kick everything on and see how it goes. At this point, I realized that I used the incorrect post processor when publishing these toolpaths, so I had to go take the time and go back into the software and recreate the toolpaths using the wrap Y2A. And then I needed to get them re-uploaded to the machine. Now that I've used the correct post processor to reinitiate the toolpaths, you can see that the rotary is spinning correctly as it should. So these came out really awesome. What I'm gonna do before I start cutting them out is hit them with my sanding mop to get all of these crazy fuzzies off. Um, but yeah, these came out really good. Looking pretty nice. So now all I'm gonna do is pop them out of the quick change jig. Just loosen up this side down here. Pull that back. Then you can just pull this cap right off. See, now if I had another piece of Osage Orange ready to go, I would just pop this right, right back in place and that would already be ready to go. And I would start another round of this. Makes it pretty easy. This looks really cool though, look at that. I mean, it almost looks just as cool if I were to not cut them out, but I'm gonna cut them out individually. I'm just gonna leave about a quarter inch of the stem on top here so I can use that stem to mount on the other piece of furniture or box or whatever it is that I'm gonna mount this on. And then on the bottom side, I'm gonna cut this flat so that I can stick a furniture felt pad on there. 
So there we have it, six pumpkin legs that are gonna be used in my next box project. Um, come to think of it, you could probably even use these as cabinet bowls. These look really cool. They came out a lot better than I expected. I'm pretty, pretty happy with the results here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish one, so that way I can get a good idea of what this is gonna look like finished for my next project. This tried and true finishing oil really brings out the color of that Osage orange. That looks phenomenal. Pretty excited about this. And here we have the finished product. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like content like this. And tune in next time for the rest of this box project that I'll be installing these on. See ya.